Hey, what's up y'all? Today I'm gonna make a quick tutorial on how to import a livery made in Photoshop or whatever photo editing software you have into Coex. So I've seen quite a lot of people confused or unsure on how to use this feature that was added to Kino. So I'm just gonna show you guys on how to do it. It's pretty simple. So firstly we need to make ourselves a guideline real quick. So we're gonna go to vinyls and now we just need to grab a shape uh, I'm just going to grab the square over here and I'm just going to cover the entire car with it. Um, try to cover all the pieces as best as possible. Um, okay, I missed that little piece there at the back. There we go. And yeah, like I mentioned, just cover a car as best as you can because um, when you export the image, you'll be able to see all the parts if you cover them because when you export, exports the vinyl not the paint that was previously on the car so you're gonna need to cover the car as best as you can so like that also if you are going to be adding window stickers I recommend that you also add to the window like that and there we go we're just gonna exit out and save this real quick there we go now open Kino mod menu and now we're gonna go to tools here at the bottom and we're gonna click on car dumper. So you will see in car dumper, there's a thing here that says dump livery. So this will dump the livery that we've made. As you can see, we just covered all the parts. And now if we press dump livery, it should be saved in our car X mod folders. Okay, now that we've navigated to our car X files, your files might look a bit different, but go to the location where your mod maps are so i'm gonna go there um okay base um okay so you should maybe have navigated here to your modded maps and then you'll come back and you'll see all these files here so you'll see here this file called car dumps so as you can see these are the files that we have exported now and i'm just going to add a few stickers just for example and just then i'm going to show you guys how to import them. also keep in mind when you guys are editing in Photoshop or whatever program, um, make sure to upscale pixel count on your image because when you export these, these are very low res. So I recommend upscaling it a bit. Also, uh, when you're editing, don't forget to change the color or to the color of your choice in Photoshop. And then also, when you're adding stickers to the windows, um, add the stickers on a separate layer and then delete this bottom row because if you're going to import this there's going to be this white squares on your window and you want that to be obviously transparent so add your stickers on a separate layer and then delete this bottom one here and then when you save it just save it as the same name so yeah that should be everything and now i'm going to show you quickly how to import it so now we're going to go back to k and base and we're going to scroll down and go to visuals and then from there you'll see a file called livery template build so if you go in here you should see nothing um mine has a few designs already so you're gonna go to your your card dump you're gonna copy all that file so you're gonna copy both the texture and the material once there should be four images in total and you're gonna just paste it here so now we're gonna go back into Kino mod. We're gonna go to visuals. Uh, we're gonna go to livery templates. Then we're gonna go to template constructor. And then from there, you're gonna import each file in place. So I'm just gonna do this real quick. Um, I have a design already made. So I'm just gonna show you how to import that real quick. So I'm gonna go to body texture, scroll down, look for the super one, and then there, texturebody.png I'm going to press on that and then I'm going to look for the window one there is gloss, texture glass and then you're going to do the same for the material just scroll down there's uh, material body and then there's material glass and then that should be everything when you've imported all these uh, PNGs correctly, make sure this is for the right ones. This top one is for the textures. This is for the material. It's optional to get a different effect, but make sure you just import all of this just to be safe. 
now we press bake and this should bake it into a template so obviously you're gonna just name it to whatever you want so i'm just gonna name it to test one two three four whatever whatever you would like press ok and now we're gonna go back we're gonna press load template and now we're just gonna load that one that we just made over here and it should look something like this and then we can just go back and now we can enjoy our lovely that we just made so this one obviously i was inspired by a super i found on instagram but yeah that should be everything it should be pretty simple if you are confused or have any questions let me know in the comments if this was helpful leave a like on the video and i'll catch you guys later